Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Today, we're talking about heart attacks and some of the lesser-known causes of them. It's the culmination of a, a process which begins with cholesterol that builds up in the lining of the artery and that sometimes can form a little blister on the inner surface of the artery and that for some reason the lining of that blister ruptures. The body tries to heal that by forming a blood clot and that blood clot ends up choking off blood flow to the heart muscle. How about breast cancer or lung cancer, since they're close to the heart? We don't think that those actually directly cause heart attacks, breast cancer or lung cancer. They are close to the heart, like you say, but we don't think that those actually cause heart attack um, the way I described the, the heart attack to begin with. Studies have shown that both intense anger and grief can cause heart attacks. Is this true? People suffering heart attacks, many of them uh, beforehand had either intense physical exertion, unusual amount of physical exertion, or had an episode where they were quite angry and there was intense emotion. What are the other lesser known causes of heart attacks? One phenomenon that we've been very interested in here at, at UMass Memorial is this broken heart syndrome, which is something that seems to afflict older women uh, women in their 60s and 70s predominantly. It's a situation that where people present with chest pain or shortness of breath and for all the world look like they're having an acute heart attack. But in fact, after a period of time, the heart muscle comes back to normal. 